There are various ways to install Python on your computer, but especially for new users, it is highly recommended to opt for Anaconda. It will install not only Python, but also the Jupyter Notebook app and many scientific computing and data science packages. to use the Mac or Linux version. Now, you must choose the best of the four provided options. Do you need Python 2 or Python 3? And then there is a 32-bit or a 64-bit version depending on the Windows you have installed. I know it sounds strange to maintain not one but two versions of a single program. For this course, the differences between Python 2 and 3 will be almost insignificant but we suggest you install Python 3. When you choose between a 32 or 64-bit version, you can simply check your operating system. Newer computers are surely running with 64-bit processors, but if you would like to verify this before you begin, you could open your control panel menu from the start window. Then select use the second advanced option. The first option will automate more complicated processes, but causes some problems with previously installed software, while the second will register Anaconda as a default Python on your computer if you have not installed some other package. Finally, click Install and proceed until you see the window where you can finalize the installation. and select the respective icon from there. A new window will pop up. It will take a few seconds for the app to load. Once this is done, your web browser will open a new tab with the Jupyter Dashboard. In our next video, we'll study the dashboard in more detail, and we'll learn how to use Jupyter. See you there! Thanks for watching!